Hello, this is James, my exam.org and the Everlearner. Thanks for taking a look at this. One of the key pieces of work that Mike and myself have been doing over the summer, a huge amount of work actually, is that we've been refining uh, question and answer feedback on the site. So I've, I'm logged in as a, as a student here. I'm going to go to my course. I'm, I'm on the Cambridge Technical Level 3 Unit 1 course here. And let's just say, for example, I go to, um, I don't know, let's say, for example, I go for a question. Let's do this one on the hip. I go, go to do a quiz on the hip. And I'm going to start this quiz. And as you see here, I've got to get six perfect correct, an correct answers to pass this quiz. Now, that means that, you know, this is going to take some concentration and study by the student to get to that level. So during a sidestep in rugby, one of the motions that the hip joint moves through is abduction. Which of the following statements best describes abduction of the, of the hip? So I've got to decide on one of these. And I'm going to choose one at random. In fact, I'm going to choose that one there. Um, and I'm going to think that's my best effort at answering that question. And I'm going to hit check. And of course, in this case, I'm going to get my answer correct. But importantly, the feedback is going to confirm that correctness. Another example, we've got another single choice here. This time, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to choose this one here. And it's going to be incorrect, I believe. It's going to tell me which one was the correct answer. And it's going to confirm how and why. So we see here, extension that the hip involves the leg moving behind the body. The gluteals contract to produce hip extension. It's consolidating and reaffirming my knowledge that I should have as the student. Let's look. Another example, slightly different question. Identify the bones which articulate at the hip joint. Okay, so I might go for the femoral head. I believe it's that, and I don't know. The, the correct answer is the acetabulum of pelvis, but I'm going to go for the sacrum because it's going to be incorrect. And again, I'm going to get the feedback, the femur and the and the pelvis articulate at the hip. Again, this is a single choice. Which of the following best describes flexion? Let's go for that one. And again, I'm going to get my feedback. It's really important. This one's a match. I'm going to match things up. Again, I'm not reading the question at this point, but there's my best effort at answering the question. I put it in and I get my feedback as to which were the correct answers. So if I come to this next time, I can have a really good go at it, okay? So this process is really, really important for the student. Again, really tough exam level question here. Examine the image below, above of the hip joint, preparing to lift the weight, accurately complete the gap fill exercise for the letters. So A equals, okay, so that's gonna be a ball and socket joint. Now, I'm gonna not answer the other questions just for, just for time, but importantly, I'm gonna get my feedback again, ball and socket flexion, femoral head and a satabulum of pelvis, iliacus and psoas, or psoas, we should say that really. Um, so it's giving me that feedback of what I should have put in my answer. And of course, as I finish the quiz, I can obviously review each question as I go, but as, as I finish the quiz, I can review all of my answers and all of my feedback. Now, importantly, this feedback is now present on every single question on the website, whether you're studying a GCSE, an A-level, an AS, a B-Tech, a Cambridge Technical, whatever you're studying, that feedback is there. And that is going to make a massive difference to students. Now, we um, are doing this for uh, the, the MyP exam experience um, while the site is in place until we launch the everlearner.com where this feedback is going to become even more relevant. So um, we have a number of reasons that we're doing this. The first one to support the students, but the second one, because what we're about to launch is amazing. So look out for our, our new developments in the coming months. And uh, I thank you for watching this video. All the best.